Hello everyone, my name is Drew. I'm here at the Goulet Pen Company and today we're going to talk about what's in this pen. This is a Monteverde Strata, but that's not important today. What's important today is this guy right here. This is the Yovo Omniflex nib. And it says it right there, vertically. This is going to be the successor to... Oh, wrong way, Drew. Ha ha! There it is. This is going to be the successor to the Conklin Omniflex nib. You'll still find Conklin will, you know, will be available with a flex nib, but it'll be this one right here, the, Yovo, the Yovo one. You'll also see this available on Monteverde, maybe some other pens in the future, we'll see. But it'll also be sold separately. But you won't be seeing this guy anymore. So say bye-bye. This one gives you some fun bounce while you're writing, but it's not made by Yovo. And if you are familiar with Yovo as a company, they're a German nib manufacturing brand who creates some really high quality steel gold nibs that you'll find on a multitude of different brands. They are really well known for producing consistently high quality nibs. You'll see these uh, on Edison, Franklin Christoph, a bunch of independent nib manufacturers as well, and Yovo and, I'm sorry, Monteverde and Conklin have them. And up until now, the Omniflex has been in the only one that was not made by Yovo, but now the whole lineup is going to be made in Germany by Yovo, which is great. So like I showed you before, they do have some similarities, the cutouts specifically, which you give it that bounce. You eliminate some material from the left and the right side of the nib, and then all of a sudden it's less stiff. Now it is still a steel nib, so it's not super bouncy like gold would be, but because of those cuts there, you are going to get a little bit of springiness. See? And because it is a Yovo nib as well, you're going to get a pretty consistent writing experience as well. So it's been on 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 cap, so hopefully it still writes. Yeah, it does. Okay, great. So I'm right now writing with it. Monteverde Strata. Um, so standard writing, no big deal there. It's kind of like a medium fine line. They only come in one size and it's it's this but you know what the line width is really going to determine on how wet your ink is as well i used noodler's black before this and it was way thicker than this this is monteverde horizon blue um horizon blue see what i did there with the h there's a much wider stroke not much wider actually but it's a wider stroke because i put down a little bit of pressure there but really with this it's not a super crazy bouncy nib and you shouldn't overstress it you've got a kind of standard downstroke there i would really only go with something you know kind of like that as its max it's not a ton of line variation but you don't want to overstress it because if you do, these nibs are not going to go back together. But have fun with it. It's not really meant for crazy calligraphy. But if you do want to, you know, have a big fun beginning letter or a big fun end letter, that's usually what I would recommend. You know, probably going about twice the line width on these things. So, you know, I can have a big fun D and then boom, Drew. It's like hardly any W at all. Anyway, wow. Um, so... Yeah, overall, it's a really fun nib to write with. It gives you a little bit of bounce, but you don't want to uh, overflex it because then you're going to have a hard time getting the tines back together. So keep in mind, it's not a vintage flex, uh, oh, the vintage flex, not designed for crazy calligraphy. It still uses modern feeds. So the feed itself isn't specifically designed for flex nibs. So if you overstress the... Um, the nib, well, actually, you know, it's kind of like the nib is capable of doing something the feed isn't. So if you kind of go a little nuts, you're going to get something like that, which is called railroading. And that's basically the nib saying, hey, I want to put down a lot of ink. And the feed saying, no, I don't have enough for you, buddy. Just like that. So, <laughs> so keep that in mind. It's not designed to go too nuts. And if you see it doing that, that's just the pen's way of telling you, hey, stop it. You're going too far, buddy. So listen to the nib. And, um, you know, a bunch of downstrokes are obviously going to exhaust the feed because you're just like asking it for trouble. But if you just do normal writing, you know, like I'm doing here with the Drew and the Horizon, you know, that's what the pen's made for. So keep it with that. Have fun with it. Um, the pen for now is going to be, like I said, coming on Monteverde and Conklin, but you will be able to acquire it separately should you already have a pen that would be a good candidate for one of these guys. And as far as that goes, let us know always if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, and I will be doing another video on what to do if you do overflex your pen here soon. So thank you, have a great day, and write on.